Let me come to, to the self-appointed commander-in-chief. The commander-in-chief says, says in the ANC, the sender is not holding. Because he wants to build a cult in the ANC. ANC is a democratic organization. It is led movement with independent individuals participating freely, not up to an individual aura. Because we are not a cult, we are a democratic organization. What confuses you about this president? He is consultative. Every individual has got a right to express his view. Something that does not happen in your party because they sing your song, they dance your dance, they jive your jive, they walk where you walk, they, they attend the party you attend. That's why, that's why they call one of your guys the ice boy. Because they carry water for you. So, I want, I want to believe that you are not leading a cult because I listened to you about, I laughed when you said the, 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 the president appointed an intellectually challenged person. And I realized that we are in trouble. And I realized we are in trouble because I thought, how do I interact with this? I thought, how do I interact with this? What I've realized is that de debating, debating, debating with you, Honorable Malima, is a waste of time because I don't know what you stand for. <laughs> because if I left South Africa when you were defending Comrade Pravi and stayed in England, I would have spoken about you on that basis and get shocked when I come some months ago and see you in a different position. Because I don't know what you stand for. Well, I don't know what you stand for. On the public protect, I've watched your video. You were lecturing people. And total opposite of what you said you are setting in that video. The point is, your weakness, Comrade Malima, uh, Chief Commander-in-Chief, you have got no sense of self-contradiction. And that is a serious problem. A leader who does not have a sense of self-contradiction is a very dangerous leader. There's a time you praise me. I will come and collect the video where you said this mayor who operated like this, suddenly today I'm intellectually challenged. How? I mean, the question is, I do not know what is your position. And my conviction about you is that anything that gratifies you is your position. Anything that speaks about you is your position. Anything that puts something in your pocket is your position. That's it. Honorable Bungubele, please take your seat. Yes, honorable member, what are you rising on? On the point of order. Yes. Uh, uh, or, honorable members, order please. Let's Is listen it parliamentary to that a member should uh, talk to a member directly in parliament? Honorable Gungubele, please talk through the chair. No, chair, we're fine. Right. He's hurting. Uh, he no, must release. Honorable, it's okay. Honorable Take Ndose. it out. Your honorable Take it Ndose. out. We don't want you to go home and honorable the kids. Take I'm switching off your mic. Hauna order. Ubu haurata. Ikarikiha hao mwona ntati. Tukupawi sky pita ntwe inu. Assembly. So lapi lindati. So. What I want to say Mr. President. You articulated and restated critical issues. You, come, you, you made an undertaking to this house. That very soon you will be giving progress report on all the issues you stated in your sauna. They must judge you on that. You said there will be agree performance agreement. They must judge you on that. But unfortunately, the last point, the last issue I want to deal with, 
You know, in 2016, ANC had about 53%. And uh, it was said our support has gone down, which was correct. And then the other party moved from 6% to 8%. Oh. And then it was said it has increased. Now we have increased from 53% in 2016 to 57 No, no, we said that time, we said we don't Honorable want to be speaker. charged. Honorable Deputy Speaker. Yes, sir. Intellectually challenged. <laughs> <laughs> so, what I, what I want to say, Mr. President, is that when that percentage went, went down, we refused to be judged it on the basis of 2014. And we said, don't judge us on that basis. And they continue to judge us like that. Then we accepted. It was 53. Now we got 57. Can we be consistent? So all I want to say, Mr. President, the critical question is to lead, because you were elected to lead. South Africans elected ANC Speaker, Deputy Speaker. Yeah, what's your, what are you That's raising? That's a problem, because intellectually challenged in a sense that you can't compare local government on, on with honorable, national elections. Honorable Deputy Malema, point of order. That's honorable your Malema, take your seat. Deputy Speaker, point of order. What's the point of order? Who's talking? Yes, talk please. Yes, let's hear you. What are you rising on? Deputy Speaker, I thought the point of order was related to what the member was saying, but members are spending here debating and not raising points of orders. Yeah, you are right. You are correct. Honorable members, I did say let's play by the rules. Yeah, but which rule is that? No, you are out of order. You are doing it again. In uh, go ahead, Honorable Gungubelas. Yes. Thank you. Uh, honorable, honorable, honorable Speaker, Deputy Speaker, if you check, there's a relationship between the support in local government and national elections. There's always a correlation. You must go and check your graph. I don't even know you understand graphs. Because if you do relationships, if you do relationships, you will find that there is a relationship between national and local government. There's a point where national would have been up and local government up. National down and would down. So, now, you said, Point of Mr. order, Chairperson. Point of order, Chairperson. What are you rising? What, what are you there is, rising on? There is a difference when you're looking at No, graphs. no, no, that's not a there point a of difference. order. There is a difference. Honorable members, can you understand you only put across your political view when you are on the podium. You can't politically debate issues you disagree with here. No, you are out of order. If you don't, I'm not going to allow people who are not raising point of orders appropriately. I will just switch off your mic. I'm alerting you. All I want to say, Mr. President, ANC was founded to lead this country. And South Africans have agreed, and they have elected ANC all the time. The duty of the ANC is not to stress about movements that do not have positions or ideology. It is about to focus on the program for which ANC was elected. Lead president because you are opposed by a president who has no position. He himself cannot explain himself. Bravo, President Sir Ramaphosa, bravo. Thank you very much. Honorable members. Honorable members, Deputy I do wish speaker. to... I'm speaking, honorable Deputy member. Deputy Speaker. You are interrupting my ruling. Deputy Just, Speaker. Honorable member, I'm speaking. Deputy, some are singing. I'm speaking. Honorable member, I'm speaking. No, I'm saying that... You are interrupting me. Young people speak. are watching at home. Honorable uh, member, honorable take your seat. Google. 
Order, this embarrassment is just did here. You are not supposed to be speaking as I'm speaking. Kine ki kupa ori hulu na maluko antwe efumpe ile. Munuku tswai haubuti u ya gata gato ya tui. However you feel about what is being said here, you can't just jump up and want to contradict it. Outside of the rules, we plead with you to play by the rules. That's what will bring about an appropriate audience for yourselves when you speak at your time, but also for the people listening to us. That concludes the business of uh, the... Honorable members, that concludes the list and the budget vote debate and the business of the day. The president is going to sleep on what you said here. He will reply to you tomorrow. The house and is And dream, and dream, and dream.